Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with My Life as Geek Eye. As you can see, my setting is a little bit different because today's video is going to be a makeup removal video. I do apologize if my audio is a little bit echoey or a lot of it echoey because we are in my bathroom at the moment. I couldn't very well do a makeup removal video in my bedroom because I need the sink. And right now, you guys, I'm gonna show you exactly how I remove my makeup. Now, I thought today's makeup look would be a really, really appropriate one to do a makeup removal video for because as you can see I have some extremely heavy eye makeup on at the moment I've got eyelash glue in my eyelashes and today would be a perfect chance for me to show you exactly how I remove my makeup in today's video I'm going to be using my Clarisonic and this is probably the only really pricey thing that I'm going to be using today but there are definitely more affordable options of the Clarisonic out there you do not have to have this in your skincare life I personally don't think that you do have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a Clarisonic like this but it definitely helps in this makeup removal process especially if you want to do a super deep cleanse of the skin when you've been wearing some super heavy makeup like I have been today. I don't use the Clarisonic on every single makeup removal process that I do because throughout the day I really sometimes only just wear foundation, bronzer, eyeliner, and lipstick. That's what I wear on most days. But for days like today where I've been filming videos and I'm wearing a lot of makeup, then I do try and go in with my Clarisonic and really do a super deep cleanse of my makeup removal. So. This is how I remove my makeup. This is how I removed all my Halloween makeup when I was layering and all those Halloween makeup looks. So if you want to see how I remove my makeup, then just keep on watching. But let's get these lashes off. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my microfiber face cloths. Now these aren't any specific makeup removal face cloths. I just bought a packet of six of these from Aldi for like $4. The only reason why I'm using microfiber cloths is because you know those little makeup removal sponges, they've got a, there's a brand out there and they are microfiber. And so I thought, well, instead of spending $30 on one of those makeup removal microfiber sponges, why not get a packet of microfiber cloths for $4 from Aldi? And they work really, really well, you guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. They work really well. So, basically, what I've done is I've wet my cloth with some warm water. Now, I'm going to go into my trusty jar of coconut oil. If I can get into it. This one I have sitting on my bathroom sink all the time. This is what I use to remove my makeup. And this is also what I use after I've gotten out of the shower and I just want it all over body moisturize. Then I go in with coconut oil. I'm just gonna grab my cloth and go into the coconut oil. I'm gonna sort of rub that into the cloth like this. And first I'm gonna remove my face makeup. Another section of the cloth, I'm going to grab some more coconut oil and scrub off my lips. Now I'm going to rinse out my cloth again. Now as far as cleaning these microfiber cloths, the best way to do it is just to use the sensitive dove soap, the unfragranced one. Just go in with that and it's very, very effective in removing makeup from these cloths. The cold tap isn't working at the moment, so I'm trying to not burn my hands on the hot tap here. So you saw how manky that cloth was before from all the makeup? That Dove soap removed it, just like that. Now I'm gonna go in again into the coconut oil and this time I'm going to remove my eye makeup. When you're removing makeup from your eyes, always, always, always be gentle on your eyes. Try not to scrub so hard because then that'll give you wrinkles. There is a very great chance uh, that you might scratch your eyeballs. If you scrub really hard, and I've done that before and it really hurts. So be gentle on your eyes. Eyes are a very, very delicate part of your body. And I'm just going to keep on gently rubbing it off until there isn't any more black that comes off on the cloth there. Now I'm going to go into another section of the cloth, grab more coconut oil, and then go all over the whole face again. The really great thing about using a microfiber cloth is the fact that microfiber, it removes 
everything. It also gives a very gentle exfoliation treatment to the skin as well. So as you can see, it's removed most of the makeup there. I'm gonna rinse that out again, again with the same sensitive Dove soap. Here's just an example of how effective that soap is. I'm gonna show you, that's what the cloth looks like. And I'm gonna wash it out with that soap again. So it's kind of like a reusable makeup remover wipe. <laughs> That's the soap that I use to clean my makeup brushes as well. And that's what it looks like. It has a few tiny little stains, but that soap is very effective in removing makeup out of these cloths. So on a normal day, most nights, this is where I would end with my makeup removal, but because I did have a fair bit of heavy makeup on before, I'm now gonna go in with my Clarisonic. I use my Sensitive Skin Head Attachment and for the cleanser, I'm going to be using my Jericho Cosmetics Gentle Milk Cleanser for this. So I'm just going to apply a little bit there and rub that into my skin. From the brush the coconut oil already did a very good job at removing all of the makeup I just wanted to use something like this to really work that cleanser into my pores and try and get the very last bit of makeup residue out of my pores because ain't nobody get time to block pores now I'm gonna go in with some cotton pads and wipe off all of that milk cleanser off my face or what's left of it And it has come off with just a little bit more makeup there. So that step really helped bring out all of the makeup left on my skin out. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse my face with some warm water. And I've now pat dried my face. And then to finish off, I'm going to go in with some more coconut oil just to calm down the skin and bring back a little bit more nourishment and moisture from where my gentle milk cleanser had sort of drawn out any remaining oils from my skin or instead of applying coconut oil you could go straight into your nightly or you know skincare routine serums face oil moisturizer toner all that sort of thing but for now coconut oil is gonna do me good and if you guys want to see a separate video of a skincare routine then definitely let me know in the comments below but for now Judy out. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please definitely give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you guys for being here, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Also, this video is not sponsored by Clarisonic, but Clarisonic. Mate, if you are watching, hit me up. Hit me up. Because as you can see, I, because as you can see, I have, because as you can see, I'm so glowing. Coconut oil's just the best, man. Better clean this shit up. See ya.